it is column one this is why we use a zero and one so this will go as the first value this will go as the header text okay so let's go back to our form just to look at it again so uh, go get the list of columns for my data grid view and add a new one to them the name of that will be the first value uh, which is the day id and the second one will, will be the second value which is the day name okay zero represent the first value one represent the second value okay so let's run this code okay and obviously i did some kind of mistake here because it didn't oh the mistake is that i didn't call this function so uh full dgv okay so let me run this now as you can see here now i got the list of the days right here the next step is that i need to put a list of rows and each the, uh, the the header of each row will represent the shop uh, information okay so how do we do that uh, it will be a very similar strategy except that we'll be dealing with uh, rows instead of columns okay so there we go so create all the rows um, for i equals zero to test data set dot now we are gonna work with the, the stars so I am using the stars table now instead of using the dot rows dot count I can make it shorter and just write dot count okay it will also get me the whole list of uh, <coughs> the whole list of stars uh, uh, rows okay so it will be like this dgv dot rows dot add now I'm gonna add an empty row the header of this row should contains the store name so dgv dot rows of i dot header cell dot value equals now this is an important part I'm gonna use the test data set dot stars of i i didn't use the throws of i you can use of i right away and the compiler will understand what you are trying to do here dot item of one this is a very similar technique i didn't use zero because if we go to the data set and this is the start table the column zero is the id the column one is the name and again you can use the star name yeah, let me use the star name here just in case so that you can see it star name probably using names is better but uh, anyway I just want to, uh, to show you the code okay so let's see this in action and as you can see now this is the first store second third and fourth okay and these are the days okay so far so good this is quite nice and easy to um, understand now there are a number of tricks here now since I have the work schedule I need to display the information at the intersection of these two in other words uh, I must know the coordinates of the correct cell so I need to know which column I must put my record and I need to know which row I must uh, use in order to do that um, what am I gonna do is store some kind of information in the columns and the rows and the, uh, which will help me later on to identify the correct location uh, okay with each control there is a tag property and the tag property will allow me to store whatever value I want to use later so this is what I'm gonna do I am gonna go to the columns and write this dgv.columns of i dot tag equals I am gonna store the primary key here so it is gonna be uh, test data set the days of i dot item of zero okay so I store with each column its primary key 
uh, this will help me later on to do searches okay control C control V this is something very similar rows for each row I'm gonna use the tag property instead of days I'm gonna use stars and use the item zero okay now I am gonna read the information in the work schedule and use that to display uh, some values over here so uh, before before I do that let, let's just make sure we have some values okay so let me retrieve the data retrieve the data over here okay so we have just one row right and we need to display that let me add another one e2 st1 and day one okay um yeah let's, let's just have two values just to make things more interesting okay so now fill the cells okay to make things easier I am gonna put a collection with each cell the collection will store information that makes uh, programming easier for me this information will include the ID of the person that's working on that day and the name of that person okay you can avoid using this but um, just to make things easier okay so dimension j as integer for i equals 0 to uh, dgv dot rows dot count minus 1 for j equals 0 to dgv dot columns dot count minus 1 all I have to do which is very simple is like this dgv dot rows of i dot cells of j now this is getting me the cell dot tag property equal new uh, collection okay and the collection is gonna store the IDs and the names of the uh, employees okay now start working on the uh, <coughs> work schedule table now there we go this is the, the important and probably the most difficult part in the code so for i equal zero to uh, works uh, sorry test data set dot work schedule dot count i will loop over e uh, every uh, row now i must get the id so dimension uh, day ID a string equals uh, okay so let me go to the data set just to remember the order so day ID it's this one and store ID and PID probably I should use the names it will make my life easier so of I dot item day ID okay dimension store ID a string equal the store ID um, AMP ID AMP ID okay just look at this again just to make sure you have the right uh, names okay now okay <clears throat> what I need in order for me to store the value what do I need I need to know the row number and the column uh, the column number so dimension row number as integer equal minus one now this one is find the row number obviously the row number contains the star information so we are gonna search the correct row number so for j equals 0 to the gv dot rows dot count minus 1 okay I'm gonna access this one now if 
dgv dot rows of j dot tag okay this is where it gets important if the tag value equal uh, store id then row number equal j okay you might be asking where did the tag come from and what does it do if you go back here we were creating the rows and each row I changed its tag property to be the primary key of the store so now I am searching this one here uh, so that I find the correct row number it's as easy as that same technique is used to find the column Control C okay find the column number column number okay so dgv dot columns now this one column uh, the tag equal day id then column number equal j now I got these two so now I know which cell I should change but I only have the primary key of the employee I need to find what name should appear in order to do that again a similar technique find the name of the employee now the name employee resides within the employee table so the code is like this dimension nme uh, string um, again for um, j equals zero to test data set dot emps dot count minus one now if uh, control c control v if employees of uh, j dot uh, item emp id equals emp id then if i found the employee and me equal this is gonna be mp name i guess let me just make sure where is the MP, emp name yes okay so here we got all the information we need now we are ready to display the information add the values to the corresponding cell so dgv dot rows of row number uh, wait a minute before that dimension c as collection okay i'm gonna get the okay so dot row number dot cells of column number dot tag okay if you remember previously in these steps for each cell I am creating a new collection and I said the collection will hold information like the ID and the name of the employee so now C dot add uh, it will be EMP ID C dot add uh, and ME and finally I need to uh, I need to, f to update the display of the cell update the display of the cell okay so I'm gonna create a subroutine because we will use this more f uh, frequently so update cell on full um, row number column number okay this might be a little bit confusing but it's not difficult so public sub update cell info rn as integer integer r is then uh, cn as integer okay so again i will use something similar to this v this will be rn cn okay dimension c as collection okay 
dimension s as string equal nothing dimension i as integer for i equal zero to um sorry equal one to c dot count step two 